Big Blue Madness is tomorrow, but today we got to talk with Coach Cal and the team during media day. As always with the top-ranked recruiting class, there's a lot of expectation. This Wildcats team has a chance to be one of those standing at the end of the season with a national title, and it seems if that's going to happen, they're going to have to rely on something freshmen usually struggle with, their defense. I think we're going to be really, really good defensively. Uh, we got guys that can, that can pick up 94 feet. We got a lot of guys with length, tip passes, get deflections, get out and run. But uh, I, I think that's the main thing we're focusing on, trying to be as good as we can defensively and then offensively just take care of itself because we have so much talent. Coach Cal says wife Ellen believes this is the best group of players as people he's brought in, but he's also concerned with what's going on during practice, and he's already getting a little anxious, and it's just October. He warned the players about all the yelling and screaming that he's doing. We're going to all have to be patient. I stop every practice at some point and tell them to tell me to be patient. Coach, be patient. We're good kids. We're good players. We just don't know anything. Be patient. And then I go, because I'm ready to choke some of you right now. That's every day I have to do that. Um, but I'm enjoying it. This is what we do here. This is what it is. We'll all get a better look tomorrow night for Big Blue Madness. It might take the first couple of games for the real question. Who will be the leader? Dorian Kraft reports. The common theme for John Calipari at this year's Media Day is that he doesn't know. He doesn't know yet where the team's last shot is going to come from. He doesn't know yet what their identity is going to be. And he doesn't know who is going to step up and be this team's leader. Now, if you ask the players, they say they're all going to be leaders. So maybe this year, Cal doesn't have just one floor general. He's going to have 14. I mean, a lot of guys lead by um, example, and a lot of guys lead by uh, vocally. And I mean, I feel like everybody on the team you can learn something from, and uh, everybody in their own way is a leader. You know, some guys are more vocal leaders. Some just lead by action, just by going hard and competing. Leadership, I'm taking all types of roles, really. Trying to get everybody to have the same leadership I have, really. And on the court and off the court, I have to be that, that main focus of, of having everyone, everyone on, on the right page at all times. Uh, I'm just coming out here trying to lead these guys, bringing energy to each and every practice because I've seen what it, what it is for players, how it feels when you hit that wall in January or when adversity hits in January, February, and March. When it comes to floor generals, the obvious comparison is Quad A Green to Tyler Eulis. Cal says that's not fair. Quad A says, you know what? I'm just focused on being quad A green. At Memorial Coliseum, Dorian Kraft, LEX 18 Sports. As for the Kentucky football team, it continues a bye week. A neat story for one Wildcat. Courtney Love surprised with an honor today. The UK linebacker spending time as normal with some kids that he mentors when he was surprised by UK athletic officials and teammates as they were celebrating Love being named to the All-State Good Works team for his community service. It means a lot just because, you know, uh, it's something that, you know, I've always, you know, prided myself off of, my family, um, something that we've always wanted to do. And, uh, you know, coming here to University of Kentucky, you know, that's something that I really look forward to, you know, getting into life skills things and, you know, working with, you know, people and helping mentor our youth. LEX 18 News will be right back.